All right, so we got the computer. Now it's time for the phone. Uh, today we're gonna be trying to install a custom ROM on the Galaxy J7. Now it seems relatively straightforward, but there is some caveats with this. One, we need a computer, and two, I have no idea if this thing's bootloader can be unlocked because, uh, you know, T-Mobile. Oh well, uh, if I can't get it to work, I'll just fix it. Oh yeah, all the apps from when I tested this phone out before. Uh, if you wanna see that video, click in the corner. Okay, so before we do anything else, first things first, we gotta enable dev settings and see if we can unlock the bootloader and enable USB debugging as well. Oh right, it's build number, my bad. Oh, thank god. In here there's a setting to unlock the OEM, so looks like this thing can run custom ROMs. Uh, we just gotta figure out how to get it working though. Okay, so we got that on and let's turn on USB debugging as well and time to use the laptop. Oh, you know what? Just wonderful. Thanks, Dell. You make the highest quality products. Oh my god, finally, after like three restarts, finally the desktop. Oh, wonderful. Now it's randomly shutting down. You know what? I'm done with this laptop. There you go. Now it's one of those cool two-in-one laptops. Ooh, look. Is it an iPad or is it a laptop? Your next J7 if this doesn't work out. All right, now that that's taken care of, all we gotta do is look up custom ROMs for this model number and we should be good. Oh, this looks fun, throwing Android 10 on an Android 7 phone? Oh, and it actually has One UI 2 as well. I mean, I'd complain about One UI, but anything's an upgrade from TouchWiz. Cool video and all, but I'm not gonna watch it, I just want the link, thank you. Okay, so first things first, we gotta download Orange Fox Recovery? <laughs> I've never heard of that before. It is obligatory. Other recovery can cause problems with aroma. Uh, well, I'm a betting man, so let's download TWRP. Okay, so now that I got the most modern release of TWRP for this phone, uh, I'm kinda lost now, let me look at a guide. Alright, so a Lineage OS guide says to use Heimdall to install the recovery, so I'm just gonna trust it on that. Okay, so we should have everything working, right? Oh, okay, yeah, there we go, now it's working. With the device powered off, hold volume down, home, and power. Oh, okay, well, let me do that. God damn it! Okay, powering off. Alright, and now all we gotta do is hold volume down, home, and power. Oh, there we go, this looks correct. Let's paste the file we need in here, and... Heimdall Flash Recovery... Oh, recovery upload failed. Not this shit again. Uh, maybe it's the cable's fault? Maybe I'll try a different one? Okay, well, that didn't work either, so... What next? Alright, so if that won't work, uh, what about Odin? Oh, you know what? I think I need a tar file now, so let me go back and download the correct one. Okay, so let's load that file in and start. Please work, please work. What do you mean, fail? I'm doing everything correct here! Oh, okay, back to the drawing board. Oh, there's actually a custom recovery for this thing? Uh, maybe that'll work instead. Oh wow, that's the first time I've actually had Android file host work for me. <laughs> Thank god. Back to recovery mode. Alright, so we're back to Odin and we're doing the same exact thing over again. Uh, did I ever mention what the definition of insanity is? Reset pass! Holy shit, it's actually working! Thank god! Okay, so it seems like the issue on that phone was just a bad file, so let's boot into recovery and see if it works now. And there we are, we got TWRP working on this thing. So wait, if all I needed was a custom recovery, does that mean I broke all those devices in the past for nothing? It, oh well. Alright, all we should have to do now is wipe cache and system, and then flash the ROM. Oh, unable to mount storage. Uh, maybe it's something different? Okay, so I hit format data, and now formatting works, so should be good to install the custom ROM. Okay, so all we gotta do is hit ADB sideload, swipe, and launch ADB. Okay, ADB sideload, j 7 uizip and go. Well, I mean, I say go, but it's more of a crawl. I'll see you in a bit. Oh, and that's strange. It has a custom installer as well. Okay, the installation is completed, but uh, something failed over here, so I'm not sure how well this is gonna work, but whatever, let's see. Oh, uh, that's not very good then, cause it's been stuck on the screen for a good couple of minutes, so I think I gotta reflash the OS. Or maybe this one doesn't work? Oh, okay, so same error. Alright, something new this time. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> oh, it's booting right into recovery, how did I mess it up even worse? Alright, so instead of that, I'm just gonna try random custom ROMs I found on XDA for my specific device. Hmm, who would have thought I had to match up the model numbers to get it to work? So this one is Walker Blue V2, and I have no idea what the hell this is, but 
It seems cool, so let's get started. Restart to install the Windows updates. <laughs> How about you piss off? I got BlueJ7 over here, so all I gotta do is ADB sideload the file to the phone, and we should be good. It seems to have installed correctly, so let's reboot and try it out. So it just keeps showing the J7 logo and looping, so maybe I gotta wipe some more partitions? I'll figure it out. Okay, so I finished loading it again, and actually it reads something here. First reboot may take a few minutes, it can also loop a few times. Um, <laughs> whoops, maybe I should have read. Okay, so I let it loop for a good couple minutes, and absolutely nothing is happening, except for this. So I, <laughs> I think I have to go back to the drawing board again. Man, why is every ROM on XDA go to a dead link? I can't find a working custom ROM for this thing. Android file host and now Mega 2? They just don't want me to mod this phone. Oh, finally we got one. Oh, and it says to install this alongside it, so I'm gonna get that done as well. Wipe data, cache, and Dalvik cache? Okay. Third time's the charm, or fourth time's the charm. I'm losing count at this point. All right, and we just installed a verification disabler, so we should be good to boot now. No OS installed. Are you sure you wish to reboot? I'm pretty sure I just installed one, but I guess we'll find out. Oh, that's new. Did the custom ROM actually install correctly? Okay, so now it's just blinking on this screen, and I think it's working, so I'm just gonna let it sit down for a sec. Oh yeah, that's right, it says first boot between 10 and 15 minutes, so I just gotta be patient. Oh, and there we go, the custom ROM is successfully installed. It's been like four hours. I mean, it's a bit different than what I'm used to, but it should work fine. Name. Adding your name allows your phone to personalize some apps. Uh, what if my name is just no? Samsung account. Get the most from your Galaxy with your Samsung account. Ooh, Bixby. I wouldn't want to miss out on that, now would I? And here we are, the stock Note 8 firmware running on the J7. Uh, it's actually kind of deep loaded. Let's take a look. Google Apps, Attaway, uh, I don't know who put that on there. Samsung Max, no clue what that is. Uh, but yeah, it's actually missing a lot of the T-Mobile apps that were on it originally, so... Looks way more diploted. Oh wait, I have Root on the phone now? Uh, give this thing super user, uh, but sure, why not? Downloading, uh, <laughs> this isn't a virus, right? I mean, I just gave it super user access, so I think it's a bit too late. So I'm running an ad block tester right now, and it says 50 points out of 100, so <laughs> maybe I shouldn't have given it super user access. Oh, and what's this? Super SU. Oh, I see, so it's like a manager for all of your root stuff. Uh, I have no real use for this, actually. Oh, look, there's also the edge panel from the Note 8. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Okay, uh, help. I hit too many buttons. <laughs> Get out. Quit. Stop. Go away, please. Okay, I'm curious. What's Samsung Max? Oh, it's like... a VPN? What? Secure Wi-Fi. Protect your privacy while browsing and masking domains. Let me guess, it's a VPN, right? Yep, okay. You're sneaky, Samsung. Describing it as privacy when you're actually trying to steal all our data. I know what you're doing. So even when I hit OK, it says could not connect to the Samsung Max Cloud. Try again later. So, uh, I guess they just shut that off. Oh, and apparently we also get Bixby here as well. Sign into your Samsung account to use Bixby. Oh, right. Yeah, no thank you. Oh, and before we go, let's throw Geekbench on this thing and see how well it fares. Kind of annoying how I have to allow unknown sources every single time I want to do this. I actually heard that Google's trying to lock down Android by blocking that completely from unknown developers. Who do they think they are? Alright, so let's run the benchmark and see how it compares to the stock operating system. And this phone scored a 113 over 432, and... Ooh, um... Within margin of error, but the stock operating system performs better. So, that's about it for now. Uh, not a lot of ROMs for this thing, huh? I think it's just because I picked up the T-Mobile version of this phone. If you pick up the International Unlocked version, I think there's thousands of ROMs to play with instead. Either way, thanks for watching. I'll see you later.